Welcome to the Montague. Okay, so can you run us through what features you've got in your park? Yeah, sure. Uh, we've got a flat down box on the bank uh, behind us there. There's a down rail on the bank there. And we've got uh, rail and box on the flat here. Uh, wall ride over there. Quarter pipe up against the hedge, which is looking a little bit sorry for itself. Because <laughs> the rain's got it a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a, a little stall there on, on the back of uh, what's actually a mini ramp in the summer. How long has the park been here for then? Um, I think they started building it about seven, seven winters ago. Uh, I've been here for, for four. I think including staff, we've got about, about 30, 31 people here at the moment. And so when you have a session, how many people will you get out? Right. Uh, generally, I'd say probably two thirds of the people in the shallow come out and play. Then maybe sort of 15, 20 people outside the shallow as well. Big event. So pretty, yeah, it can be pretty, pretty big, yeah. And uh, what, what extra sort of trimmings do you have, like barbecue or sort Normally get a barbecue going, yeah, music. just get some music going. We've had like some of the backyard jams in the past that we've had, we've had DJs and stuff. Really? But like generally just, just stick some tunes on and That's get a barbecue going. And, and um, so what would you say makes this uh, gig more unique than the other two? Uh, probably more more established. I think more people, because it's obviously been going for quite a long time now. There's been, like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people know about it. We've got welders and things in the chalet, so like any any rails and stuff we get hold of, we can you know, build more build more things every year. Welcome to the Bogron Backyard Jib. Uh, well, we've only really got one feature, but I mean, it's a pretty awesome feature. So what we had was, we had a, a, a long run-in coming down the hill, and it came right across our patio, and then uh, through the back doors, straight opens up into the living room, and then other doors are open, off the balcony, easy 12-foot drop, powder landing. Well, we had a pretty uh, pretty gnarly bar going on. That was pretty, that was pretty sick. Food-wise, well, we had a little barbecue going on. Good, good that's stuff. Good. Small little barbecue and stuff. What could go wrong? That's amazing! How long did it take to build? Uh, it, was, uh, it was fairly quick actually. I mean, it was kind of a last minute thing. We decided to just sort of chuck some snow down. The kicker was the biggest thing. We had to build a really, really big kicker coming up off the balcony. So we did that the day before, I let that sort of freeze over and then uh, worked on the run-in, sort of built the run-in up. So it took two days really. So. How many people live in the house? Nine of us in the house. Cool, and how many, how many of you are hitting this jump? About seven of us. We had, we've got two roommates and they're not they're not the biggest fans of uh, parties. So we kinda we wait until they went away for a bit, they had a, they had a two day break, they went off back to England and then we sort of did it there. Nice. Got it done quick, tried to get it cleared up before they came back. Did they find out? They did find out, well that's only because the landlord found out and kind of uh, bolstered us for it. Really? Yeah. What got, happened? Got in a little got bit of trouble. trouble. Uh, they told our landlord and he, he uh, actually thought it was quite funny. That's but good. they weren't too pleased and they said if we do any more, we're out, so could we sneaky about it. When's the next one? Yeah, <laughs> right, next week. And uh, what would you say makes your house. jib more unique than the other two? Wow, well, we're going for a house, aren't we? It's house, <laughs> house in the living room.
Welcome to the Marmot Mountain Lab. So talk me through the features, Will. Okay. What have we got? So we've got a quart pipe drop-in. It's made out of about a couple of chests of drawers and a few pallets. And then you can drop into that and hit our roller, which then leads onto the car. Or you can hit the uh, cupboard box, box type thing. Or this side on wall ride, which is made out of a lovely old door. What's on the back? And then we've got a quarter pipe to fridge stool. Uh, we've also got a wall ride to like bollard stool type thing and some plank jibby malarkey thing with jig. Technical what, term, that. Yeah, that is a and technical, that's a technical, technical term. term. And what, uh, what's the piece de resistance that you've got around the corner? Uh, we've got the rail of death, which is a up flat rail up over our little river. Nice. Is it a torrent? Is it a dangerous river? Oh, it's savage. Vicious. Vicious. Nice. Okay, and so tell me about the uh, the chalet itself, the Marmot. How many people live here? We've got about uh, 15, 20 people staying in. A bit, cool. bit, bit of a party house. <laughs> bit yeah. of a season air house. And how long have you had the uh, the backyard gym? Uh, we've had it since about Christmas now, so a couple of months. How long did it take to build? It took uh, a day. We were all absolutely hang hanging, so it was a nice day. And how regularly do you session this? Uh, every Monday we have a big season air jam. Um, session get many people come down? Yeah, we get about 5, 10, 15. Depends on the night. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, has, has the features changed much? Or? Oh, every, every time you try and change the features, so it keeps it interesting. Any time you find a random piece of rubbish? Every, uh, exactly. You turn it into a jib. Yeah, that's the one. Now the other two, um, the other two parks that we're looking at have got barbecues. Have you got any, anything like that to offer? We've got the uh, best home cooked grub in Morzine. Nice. I don't see any skiing through house. I don't see any powder drops. No, where's the bar? <laughs>